I'm speechless. I, I don't know what to say. I mean, did I see a masterpiece? No. What's going on, everyone? I'm Mike. I'm Pat. And we just saw Ghostbusters 2016. The Ghostbusters remake has been one of the more controversial films that I've paid any attention to in a long time. Um, it's a remake. Many said it was an unnecessary remake. Um, most remakes stink. Uh, let's be honest. It's like one in a lot where a remake's any good. And, well, I don't think Ghostbusters is any different. No. No. Best thing to come out of it is Ecto Cooler coming back. This is a non-spoiler review. It's going to be quick. First things, though, if you have a problem with the movie because it's got women in it, go away. There's no reason for that. This is on the film's merits, whether the film was good or not, regardless of any of that nonsense. So we're going to start off with what we liked about the movie. Any aspects? Pat, what, if anything, did you enjoy about this movie? Honestly, <laughs> nothing. I can't think of something I liked about it. It's a really bad thing to say, but I can't. The parts I thought I was going to like, like I thought I was going to like Kate McKinnon's character. I thought I was going to, but to her, but no, I didn't. She, she's a comic book character. She's not a real person. I mean, it's it. It was. I, everybody is though. Yeah. Uh, her character, they use the same stuff over and over and over again. It, it just never, it never clicks in the beginning, and it never, it didn't click at the end. And, and, and I mean, even, uh, what's the guy who plays Thor? What's his name? Chris Hemsworth. Chris Hemsworth. Even him, some of it was funny, some of it wasn't. Like, they overused it a whole lot. It, 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 got, it got real old. Basically, what it comes down to, this movie is, it's very dumbed down. There's a lot of stupid comedy and there's a lot of stupid people and it really doesn't take the source material serious and it doesn't take itself too serious and sometimes movies can be funny in that but this was just it it, it was too stupid there were too many people that were too dumb it it just it got unnerving after a while it was like a saturday night live skit spoof on ghostbusters it, it was it was bad. It was a really big budget parody movie. Is essentially what it seemed like. It would have it would have been better if they didn't use Ghostbusters name and just made it a thing. I tried to go into it wanting to like it, not comparing it to the originals. But they did so many things. They did so many throwbacks to the original, and it, they were just half-assed. I mean, they were they were not good. They were. They they were disingenuous. It was it was disrespect. Not I don't want to say disrespectful, but it was it was so like certain lines and things like that from the original. The cameos didn't work as well as you would hope it. Would. It has the single worst cameo I've ever seen in a movie. The most soulless, phoned in, just 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 un disinterested cameo I've ever seen, and it wasn't actually Bill Murray. Believe it or not. If you are an old Ghostbusters fan of the of the first two films, and you want to experience something new Ghostbusters-wise, there was a video game that came out for the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360, written by Dan Aykroyd and Harold Ramis, and it was a much better Ghostbusters film than this. Than this yeah, you can actually probably go onto YouTube and find the, all the cutscenes put together in, I don't know how long it is, but sizable thing and that's probably a better experience it's, but it's still worth it still it's, more worth it ghostbusters was just it felt lazy at times it was i mean it's not the worst movie i've ever seen taking the ghostbuster aspect taking my nostalgic you know feelings from ghostbusters it's not the worst thing i've ever seen it sure as hell ain't the best thing i've ever seen but i'm not gonna go oh it's right in the middle it was more bad than good i personally did not laugh much 
I chuckled a little bit. There were no hysterical laughs. There were some parts that I found somewhat funny. There were some aspects of the ghost busting uh, special effects that I found interesting. There's a few decent scenes. There's a scene with Kate McKinnon um, towards the end of the movie where it's pretty nice Ghostbuster action, but that lasts like 20 seconds. 20 seconds in an hour and 20 minute movie, or hour and 50 minute movie, I should say, you know, isn't enough to save it. So there are some things that work. There's a lot of things that don't work. And, you know, and we are not, it's not the target expected. demographic for this movie, though, to be fair. We are not the target demographic. It's more, I guess, more towards, I guess, young women or Paul Feig, uh, Feig, however you say his name. I think this movie is for, I'll put it this way. If you're a longtime Ghostbuster fan, like if you grew up on the first two movies and the cartoons and you liked those characters and you really liked Ghostbusters and, you know, I don't, that doesn't mean you sit there and follow everything Ghostbusters that comes out, but you really enjoyed that, you're probably not going to like this movie. And if you're someone who doesn't care about Ghostbusters, you still might not like You the might movie. enjoy it a little bit, but I think you're just going to kind of shrug it off. If you're, you're going to see it, you might get a few laughs. You might get a little enjoyment. It's a lot of mindless stuff. I mean, it's definitely a movie where you can go just eat popcorn and, you know, fall asleep for 10 minutes. You're not going to miss much. But it's just... But there may be me, something... It's, it's, it's a mediocre movie at best. And that's, I think, personally being a little bit kind to it. The parts I saw of... Um, Bridesmaids, part of it was funny. I'm glad that this does not have that type of gross out humor in it, which is what I was worried about as soon as I heard it was Melissa McCarthy. I was worried it was going to have a bunch of gross out comedy, people taking shits on the street and all that kind of stuff in, in wedding dresses or whatever it was, uh, or in a sinks or something. I can't remember. Maybe Paul Feig fans might enjoy the movie, but old school Ghostbusters fans. No, not. if the, you. The, 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 every, single, every single cameo and throwback is just soulless. All right, let's. Give Ghostbusters 2016 or Ghostbusters Answer the Call. I officially I think it's just called answer Ghostbusters. Call. That's what the tagline has. Ghostbusters Answer the Call. That's what their tagline is. You know, I don't know who's answering the call, but whatever. Pat, if you had to give Ghostbusters a score, um, five being best, one being worst, what do you score it? Between one and one and a half. Honestly, uh, I, I laugh at everything. I got yelled at for laughing at the end of The Departed. I laugh at literally everything. And this movie didn't make me laugh. One to five. I go 1.75. I just... It was, Not even as a... Even from a... As a Ghostbuster fan, I would ugh. probably go 1.25. I'll go two out of five. Just in general movie. It's... It has some visual effects. They're not spectacular, but they're okay. It has a little bit of action, but not that much. And it has some chuckles, but again, not that much. If you like brain-dead stupid comedy, like watching people for nearly two hours act stupid, because the mayor's a moron, the mayor's assistant's a moron, the receptionist Kevin is a moron. He's funny at times, but he's a moron. And it's got one of the weakest villains I've ever seen in my entire life. As a, from a Ghostbusters fan of this movie, I'd give it a one. As a non-Ghostbusters fan of this movie, I'd give it a one and a half. If that. There you go. Not good. If you want to show your kids a Ghostbuster movie, and you want to save yourself going out to the theater, just get one of these. Or watch a playthrough or something. Just way better. Just way better. Alright, thanks for watching. Talk to you next time.